Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm here to do a Kringle Candle Haul. Now, my webcam broke for my camera. My webcam broke for my computer, not the built-in one, the external one. It broke, so I have to buy a new one, so probably this weekend I'll buy a new one. But anyway, um, everything in here is backwards in this video, so I'm sorry about that in advance, but I can't do anything about that. I can't figure out how to switch it on the Mac. But anyway, this is a Kringle Candle Company review. They sent me these products to review. Basically, Mike Ketridge, who owned or created Yankee Candle, his son, for a college course in school, needed to create a product, and he created a candle, and he used Kringle Candle. So I think that that's pretty cool, and now he became a big candle company as well, just like his father used to after he retired. So it's really cool. So um, they're not affiliated with Yankee at all. Just putting that out there now. They're not associated with them. That's just like his son created this company. But anyway, what they sent me were two air fresheners. One I actually have in my in my locker now, and this is in the scent Warm Cotton. Well, you can't see anything here. That's just the cardboard, but it says Kringle Candle Company. But um, it just smells like a fresh cotton scent. It's really nice whenever I open up my door to my locker. It just smells super, super good. Then the other one is Baker's Vanilla. And now I think this is just going to be a straight vanilla scent because it doesn't look like it has any spices in it. And the notes don't look like it have any spices in it either. But I'm not sure because I haven't opened it. And these are like sealed, which is good. Um, whenever, since school's almost over, whenever I start my school year next year, I'll probably put this in the locker there. But anyway, now on to all the fun stuff. Even though those air fresheners weren't fun, this is just awesome. They have these products that are $3. They are called Daylight Candles. And they look just like this. Now, all their wax is white. Now, you might think, well, this is a yellow container, but the wax is white. It burns cleaner, slower, and it's a glow. It creates an awesome glow, so whenever you burn the candles, they just burn like an amazing glow. Because of the white wax, none of the color... Um, none of the color affects it or anything like that. But the daylight candles burn for 12 hours. It burns for daylight, which is really cool. Um, these are I don't think these are a one-use candle. I'm not positive on that. I think you can just keep blowing these out and whatever. But these are like a tea light, but they're much larger. So like I said, $3. These are awesome. And what's cool about these is the power that they create. They're stronger than a, than a candle like this size you would think. Just like putting this in my bedroom makes it smell amazing. So they sent me one in lemon rind. And I haven't burned this one yet, and there's just the wick right there. And you might think that the wick might look a little uncentered, but whenever they burn, they burn amazing. Um, lemon rind is just a fresh lemon. It's not like Yankee's Meyer lemon. It's just like a fresh lemon rind. Like, they have, they hit the nail on the head with lemon rinds. One that I've burned is from the Gentleman's line, and it is number one. These aren't named. These are just number one. So I've burned that. And... I'm not good at cologne scents. This just sounds like a very watered-down cologne. I like it, but I wouldn't buy a full size in this. Like, maybe just a couple daylights whenever I'm in the mood for it. But it's just like a watery cologne. This one I really like from the Gentleman's Line, and this is number 13. And this one, again, this is a black container with white wax. And... This is a very strong, high-quality cologne, I would think. I would think that this is a very sophisticated, nice, just uh, an awesome cologne. Love this. Now onto the amazing scent in the whole wide world. Like, I wish they can make a gigantic candle because I would buy it. In Atkins Cider Donut. This has no apple in it. This is just like pure cinnamon cider with this crisp donut. Now you're probably thinking of cinnamon sugar donut from Bath and Body Works. This is similar, but no way comparable. This is just outstanding. It is amazing, amazing, amazing. You get cinnamon, you get the yeast from the donut, you get the glaze, you get the sugar, you get the cider, you get the juice, you get everything. This is an amazing, amazing candle. I cannot wait to burn this, and I'm definitely going to be buying a big size in that. One that I'm not too fond of, Rosemary. Ugh, 
it just smells just like what you would expect from it. Just like a fresh rosemary. Not a big fan of that. Royal cherries. This one's nice. It smells like a fresh cherry. It almost smells like cherry cough syrup or cough drops. Uh, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of cherry scents, but for a cherry scent, this is nice. I probably will burn this in like the bathroom or somewhere where I'm not in it as often as normally because I don't think I could handle this all day. Then brownie cheesecake, which this one's incredible as well. It's like, you can smell the brownie, you can smell the ice cream, you can smell the chocolate sauce. I'm trying to look at the picture. I mean, you look at the picture. Like, doesn't that look just delectable? And that's exactly how it smells, too. Incredible. Incredible. Love this one. We'll buy this one over and over again as well. Citrus and sage. Does not smell like Yankee sa sage and citrus. This one is more heavy on the orange than the sage, which I like. It's not super, super herbal. Then, watermelon. I love this color. Look at that green color. This is like an artificial watermelon. This reminds me of the Hall's Defense Watermelon Cough Drops. And it's, they're really good. It smells super good. This will be great for like a summery scent, just like in the bedroom or something. It's fun. Then the last daylight they sent me was in the scent Splash, which I love this one. This is just like a fresh jump out of the water scent with a hint of a cologne. Just a hint to make it unique. And it's a really cool color shirt or color uh, container. So that was those. And those are $3 a piece. I love the daylights. Now onto the candles. Well, those are candles too. But they sent me a two wick fragrant crystal pillar in mango. Now this is. $24, yes, $24, and it has two wicks, now as you can see I've burned it, now I didn't trim it because I wanted you to see, this was after a five hour burn, look at how much is still left, and look at the wicks, um, I would say that this is a, um, not as strong as the Yankees old tumblers used to be, but not nearly as weak as the new smooth wax ones are. I would say this is almost like a Bath and Body Works candle scent strength. It's pretty strong, definitely. Whenever I walk in the room, I can definitely smell it. And it's just like a fresh cut mango, as you can see from the picture. And I definitely wanted to light this. Oh, my eyes itchy. I definitely wanted to light this whenever I woke um whenever I got home from school, because I wanted to see how it would glow at night, and it glue, and it was r glue, it glowed, <laughs> not glue, it glowed awesome, you could see all the white light shimmering from it, it's amazing, and the burn is great as well, even waxable all the way across. Then the last thing that they sent me was Under the Sea, and this is in the classic apothecary jar for $20. Oh, and also... This one burns 50 hours, and this one burns 55 hours. And this one is really good as well. I haven't burned this. This is one wick. Now, this reminds me, not anything like Splash. You would think because it's Splash, under the sea, water. But this is like you go to the beach, you smell the salt water. It's super, super refreshing. But, yeah, that's what I would say. You smell the freshness of the water and the sea salt. I was going to say the fish, but you don't smell fish, even though that's what the picture looks like. I love how there's a random fish floating at the top there. But, mm, I love this under the sea one. It's incredible. Super fresh. Super amazing. But anyway, that was my crinkle candle review. Overall, I give them a 9 out of 10. I wish they would come out with... um. And some more varieties of, like, really cool scents. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. I just wish that they would come out with some cool sizes, cool scents. Like, um, more bakery, I should say. Like, carrot cake or mm, certain things like that. But 
overall, I love the company. I will definitely be ordering from them again. Um, like I said, I give them a 9 out of 10. It's an amazing company. Burns great, scents great, everything. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you so much to Ashley who sent these to me. I'll talk to you later. Bye!